the public distribution system in India has various advantages and disadvantages. The first advantage is that due to this system, the prices have been stabilized in the market. And the second is that the food grains are available to the people at all times. Third advantage is that it has been able to avert hunger by actually transferring or transporting the food grains where they are too much into areas where there is deficiency. This system has also given income security to the farmers because of the minimum support price announced by the government every year and so they are sure as to what their income or profit would be in a particular year. But as the coin has two sides, the system also has various disadvantages. The first disadvantage is that the people are dying of hunger and the granaries are overflowing. That is, there is so much in stock that it is actually rotting or is being eaten by the rats. Second disadvantage is that it is said that the high level of buffer stock sometimes actually proves useless because there is lots and lots of it in the stock, but it is not being utilized or it is not being given to the people who actually are dying because of hunger. So, the ineffectiveness of the system comes to the forefront. When the minimum support price is issued by the government on two food grains that is rice and wheat, the farmers have stopped producing other grains and are just interested in these two. And the support or the prices or the profit which they are deriving has led the farmers to actually grow or actually utilize the land in a bad manner. That is over utilization of land and over utilization of land has led to degradation. And we also see that the average consumption in India is variable. That is in some states of India, an average consumption of an individual is just 300 grams. Whereas in another states, it could be actually four or four, four or five times more than that. So, these are the disadvantages of the system.